books, bricks, and boards. Just wanted to end the year with one final video. And I thought that I wanted to do something that is unlike most of the videos I have done. So I'm going to do my top five bug out games. These are those solo games that you can throw in a bag and take with you if you are going on a trip. Um, I, I do a lot of traveling for work <clears throat> and I also travel a lot uh, for personal uh, and so occasionally I will want to take a board game with me and when I do uh, these are the types of games that I'm looking for to get that board game fixed while I'm on the road. Um, the three things that I'm looking for in a bug out game are going to be portability, that is, it uh, is easy to transport. Uh, play area, meaning that I can uh, use the small desk or uh, area that would commonly be available in a hotel to set up and play. And then play time, because generally if you are on the road, you don't have an expansive amount of time that you're not... Uh, spoken for and, and have things on the agenda to do. Uh, so I'm looking for something that is generally going to be 45 minutes or less, maybe an hour uh, on the high end. I'm looking for something that is going to take up no more than a card table space to play. And I'm looking for something that I can throw into a regular backpack and not worry about the components getting destroyed uh, while traveling. So that being said, these are going to be my top five bug out solo games. At number five, I have Trip Lock. This is a game of lock picking by the folks at Chip Theory Games. Uh, the components being uh, neoprene mats, vinyl cards, PVC cards rather, and um, of course, they're excellent poker quality chips. And then uh, heat transfer dice. So uh, as far as portability, you can see the footprint of my hand here. Um, the mat that comes with it uh, doesn't take up much more space than this. It also has a very cool um, premium bag that I have that uh, kind of looks like a case to store a telescope in. Um, so if I've got a little bit more room, I can carry that with me as well. But basically everything will fit in this tiny box. Um, it is a memory-based game. Uh, I'm not huge on that concept. Uh, but I do enjoy it. Um, it is something that I can get in and play in 30 to 40 minutes. And there are several solo encounters for me to go through. And there's also several different characters that you can use that have different abilities. Um, but basically what you're trying to do is complete diagrams and um, disarm locks uh, until you meet the requirements of each individual solo mission. There's also a head-to-head -head version. Um, it was not my cup of tea, but the solo version definitely is. So at number five for my bug out games is Trip Lock by Chip Theory Games, designed by Adam and Josh Carlson. Number four is Cartographers. Uh, Cartographers is in the role player universe, but it really has nothing to do gameplay wise with the game of role players. It is produced by Thunderworks Games. Uh, however, it was designed uh, by Jordy Aiden. It was not uh, designed by Keith Mateka, and it definitely shows that it was a different designer. That being said, Cartographers has the most portable uh, form factor of the games that I have other than Triplock. Um, it also has a great concept whereby you uh, draw cards each season, you have to place the, uh, the shapes and the types of terrain onto your map and you try to complete uh, goals based on the cards that come up for scoring each season. Um, so <clears throat> the great thing about this game is you effectively need enough room for 10 playing cards 
and a piece of scratch paper because that is essentially what the the scoring or the drawing tab is is just a piece of scratch paper with some squares on it. This game um, you can easily complete in 30 to 40 minutes and whenever you're done uh, you have a cool little map that you've drawn and you can easily compare uh, previous uh, gameplays with your current one to see how you've done and there are a ton of expansions available for it. This is the base game. Uh, I also have the Cartographer's Heroes and all the expansions for it. Of course, they won't all fit into this box. Um, so actually, this box is empty because I've got them all in the big box right now. But I did take this one with me on my last business trip. So that tells you how uh, much I appreciate just the contents of this individual box. So again, that was number four. That is Cartographer's by Thunderworks Games. Number three, uh, this is Final Girl by Van Ryder Games. Van Ryder is quickly becoming one of my favorite companies. Uh, love their stuff that I've tried so far, and Final Girl is no exception there. Um, so far of the three games I've shown you, this would be the number three. Um, this one is going to be the least portable because I need at least two boxes because you have to have the base game and you have to have one of the features uh, to play it. The great thing is, though, um, the, uh, the amount of gameplay materials you get for the area that you're taking up are very good. Um, you get a great board and it all is part of the box. As you can see, I have my own storage solution here. Um, I like to sleeve my cards, so I've got everything sleeved up, and I took out the insert in order to do that. But that being said, Final Girl is a fantastic game. Uh, it does take me, at least, uh, closer to an hour, so this is going to be a little bit lower on the portability, a little bit higher on the playtime, and a little bit higher on the play area needed. But that being said, it is still on my short list of games that I'm going to throw in a backpack and take with me if I know I'm going to have a little bit of extra time to myself and I want to play a game. Uh, it is that good. It is <clears throat> probably the best thematic game that I have played uh, in 2021 uh, as far as new games go. You do feel like you are in that 1980s slasher movie and you definitely get the sense for what they're trying to accomplish, and I think they accomplish it in spades. So that is my number three bug out game. That is Final Girl by Van Ryder Games. All right, so this is... Hoplomachus Origins, and this is my number two bug out game. I know what you may be saying, wow, that is a massive game to take in a backpack, and you are right. It just barely fits in my backpack. However, it is well worth it. The play area of this is actually much less than most of my games because you just basically have a neoprene mouse pad as, um, as your play area. It's 11, uh, 11 three quarters by 11 and three quarters is all the space you need to play this game. <clears throat> and on top of that, this is going to be the deepest game of the five uh, that I have for my five bug out games. This is the full Hoplomachus experience in a tiny package. Um, so as long as you don't mind uh, hauling around uh, roughly 15 to 20 pounds of poker chips and materials, uh, and you've got a big enough backpack to fit this in, this is a great game to play in a hotel room. It's a great game to introduce somebody new uh, to a premium uh, board game experience. So if you've got uh, a coworker that's went with you on a trip and you wanna show them what it is like to play a chip theory game, uh, this is a perfect introduction game for that type of experience. So again, this is by Chip Theory Games. It was designed by uh, Adam and Josh Carlson. And uh, it is, my one of my favorite games of all time and origins is definitely a portable 
uh, take on Hoplomachus that works in all ways. So that is number two on my bug out games. That is Hoplomachus Origins, the Gladiator uh, recreation by Adam and Josh Carlson of Chip Theory Games. And here is my number one bug out game. This is Bag of Dungeon. As you know, if you watch my channel, uh, I was just introduced to this recently, and it is absolutely exactly what I am looking for in a bug out style game. I can throw this in a backpack, it weighs practically nothing. I can have a deep dungeon crawling experience uh, with very little amount of time and very small play area. And on top of that, I can actually do this after a long day of travel or of work, and it doesn't take a huge amount of focus, which unfortunately uh, some of my other games do, uh, particularly Final Girl and Hoplomachus. I really have to be able to focus in order to play, but I could see being able to play this after I've been through a long day of meetings. I can throw this on the desk in the hotel room, and I can immediately get a dungeon crawl in and have a great time. Bag of Dungeon by Gunpowder Studios. This also has an expansion. Uh, it's the Legends expansion, which you can get right now at Gunpowder Studios, which adds a couple more characters, actually three more characters, and adds some more cards. Um, this game gives me the same amount of enjoyment that I got as a kid uh, playing Hero Quest, uh, but it takes out all of the unnecessaries and just leaves me with the, the meat of the game. Uh, love this game. Can't say enough of it, about it. Uh, this is going to be one of my best purchases of 2021. This is Bag of Dungeon by Gunpowder Studios. And this has been Justin from Books, Bricks, and Boards. Wishing you a very happy uh, new year uh, and a great 2022. Good gaming and God bless.